Hello. So let's learn what are relations today. So it's important to know what is a relation, how a relationship works, and what are different types of relation. So now in this case, we stick to computer science, and then let's go with basics of relations. Okay. So. So if I have to say what is a relation, so uh, a relation is a set of pairs. Okay, the first component of each pair is chosen from a set called the domain, and the second component of each pair is chosen from a different set. It's called range. So, so don't worry; it's just very simple. So. Consider there are two sets, so you have A, B, C, and this is a domain set, and uh, you have another set. It's one, two, so this is a range set. So a relation could be something like A is related with one, B is also related with one, C is related with two. Something as simple as this, okay? And based on these, we have different properties of relations so let's say let's let's assume we call uh, we represent a relation from r okay so and on a set set is something okay this is set 1 this is set 2 okay so set let us consider let's assume it as s okay so now, what are the different properties of relations? One, we have reflexive relation. Second, we have the reflexive, which is just the opposite of reflexive. And we have transitive. And we have symmetric. And we have asymmetric. Sorry. <laughs> and we have anti symmetric. Okay. Now, what is a reflexive relationship? Okay, so a reflexive relation is shown something like this. So, A is related to A for all the sets. So, I'll, I'll come to a real world example which, which can help you remember these things, but... Um, Let's go with the textbook for a while. So a reflexive relation is something A relates to A and the opposite is also true. So A is related to A and A is related to A. So this is true. So this is a reflexive relationship on a set S. Yes. Okay. And then a reflexive relationship is something opposite to this. So A is not related to A in all the set. This is false always. So this is called a reflexive relationship. Let's call it relation M. And uh, next one is transitive. Transitive is represented something like this. A relates to B and uh, and if B relates to C that implies that implies A relates to C okay and then we have symmetric relationship so that is a relates to b implies b relates to a okay asymmetric uh, is the just the opposite of this a relates to b does not implies b relates to a so this will be false if this is true so that is asymmetric so anti-symmetric is 
Uh, this is fun. So in this one, A relates to B. If A relates to B and if B relates to A, then we conclude A equal to B. So these are so I'll I'll tell you how to remember these relations with a real world example. Okay, let's consider a reflexive relation. Okay. It's I I am related to I am related to to my father, right? And in all cases my father is related to me. Okay, so this is a symmetric relationship. Okay, so I related to father implies Oh, sorry, it's I related to I. Okay, so this example holds good in symmetric relation. So I'm related to my father and my father related to me. And I am related to myself. <laughs> so so just just remember it and remember it something like this. So and there's a classic joke, I just want to share it with you about transitive relationship. So, huh, that says that, uh, once in a logic class, okay, so a lecturer was teaching logic and um, a student was asked to give an example about transitive relationship. So, he gets up and says, Sir, I love you and you love your daughter that implies i love your daughter <laughs> so yeah so just take these examples into real life and then just apply it you'll easily remember all these relations thank you for listening